Sometimes when getting into something new, we can be overwhelmed just by learning what it is that we don't know. I'm Branch Water Jack, and this week we're talking about costuming here on The Firing Line. When you visit your first cowboy action shooting match, one of the things you will immediately notice is the costuming. There are a lot of folks dressed in ways that you just might not be accustomed to seeing. SAS has a long history of incorporating costuming into the game, and it's one of the things that gives this game its own unique atmosphere. There are many misconceptions about what can and cannot be worn by a majority of the shooters. When you decide that you're ready to step onto the firing line, you may be scratching your head at what it is that you need to wear in order to comply with the rules. The first thing that we need to talk about is what you cannot wear. Modern shooting gloves. Short sleeve shirts, male competitors only. Short sleeve t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, and tank tops for all competitors. Modern feathered cowboy hats. Designer jeans are not allowed. Designer jeans include modern jeans that have slogans or logos embroidered, silk screened and such, saying things like pink or baby. Ball caps. All types of athletic shoes or combat boots, no matter the material from which they are constructed. Nylon, plastic, or Velcro accoutrements. The displaying of any manufacturers, sponsors, or team logos on apparel. Now, let's talk about what is allowed and what can be worn by the majority of shooters. Participants may choose the style of costume they wish to wear, but all clothing must be typical of the late 19th century, a B-Western movie, or a Western television series. Long sleeve Henley type shirts with buttons are acceptable. Western style shirts with pearl snap buttons are fine too. And historic pullover shirts are gonna be good as well. Jeans, whether they button up or they have a zipper fly are acceptable. This includes jeans with fancy or flashy adornments. You can also wear more traditional high-waisted pants made of various materials in different styles. You do not have to remove belt loops and pants can be worn with a belt or suspenders if you need to. There is no prohibition on the material that your clothing can be made out of and there is no insistence that clothing must be constructed using a historic pattern. If your apparel or equipment includes a manufacturer's label, that is okay. Footwear can include boots or shoes, whether they lace up or slip on. Chucka boots, moccasins, lace on ropers, or slip on boots are all okay. The period included many options for both low and high cut footwear. Soles can be made out of leather or rubber and tread patterns do not matter for the majority of us. I prefer wearing synthetic or rubber soled ropers as they are comfortable and provide me better traction on wet boardwalks. It's also acceptable to go without any footwear at all, although I wouldn't recommend it. Hats are not required, but I do recommend them as they do provide you some shade and may provide protection from ejected brass. Straw hats of traditional designs are acceptable and probably come in handy on a really hot day. And remember, hats of the period come in all kinds of styles, shapes, and sizes. SAS also has two costume shooting categories, B-Western and Classic Cowboy. They include a whole separate list of costuming do's and don'ts. Specific information on costuming requirements for those categories is available in the Shooter's Handbook. And remember, not everybody in a match has to dress up like a cowboy. The Wild West was full of all kinds of people working all kinds of professions that come with certain distinctive dress. Western towns would be full of shopkeepers, newspapermen, barkeeps, farmers, railroad engineers, blacksmiths, firemen, doctors, trappers, school teachers, cavalrymen, saloon girls, and yes, even politicians. So in essence, you probably already have in your closet everything that you need to start participating in your first cowboy action shooting match in an age-based or shooting style category. So what are you waiting for? 
Are you looking for a place to shoot? Visit sasnet.com or our website, branchwaterjack.com. And we'll see you all dressed up and ready to go on the firing line. Mm-hmm.